Have you been putting in your garbage trash can liner wrong? Maybe you didn't even think that was possible, but today I'm going to show you how you've been doing it wrong your entire adult life. What? This video is gonna turn everything that you know about garbage can liners inside out. If you like cleaning and organizing tips, make sure you subscribe. This is something that I have wanted to test out. It's viral on TikTok and people are saying that your whole life you have been putting in your trash can liners inside out. And today I'm going to test that theory. It works. It's something I can bring up in casual conversation with strangers and at dinner parties to impress people, to show off my garbage can lining skills. This is how I've always done it. I just have this roll and we always get these from Target. This is just called the open and shake method. The thing I hate, my pet peeve, is other people in the house will do it and they don't make sure the corners are completely free. Okay, so then, put this off. Look at all that empty space that the corners, see this extra space? All this wasted space in the corners? So then you simply put it inside and there you go. It's all done and ready to go. Now the internet says that's not how you do it. So let's, I'm going to show you how TikTok and others say to do this. First of all, you'll notice that if you look closely, the seams are showing. They're inside out. Okay, so this is the way that you do it the correct way, according to the internet. Okay, put it on the rim first, instead of last. And then you just simply push this down. And then, voila! Look at that! That was so easy. And look, the seams look right now. They're on the right side. There we go, that, that's life changing, guys. What do you think? Are you totally impressed? Now the only problem that I have is that this can still balloon up. Andrea Jean suggests putting holes right here in your garbage can and that will make it so that your uh, trash liner doesn't balloon up. But I don't like the look of it. My husband will freak out if I do that. So I'm not gonna do it. But instead, this is how I do it. When you put it in, just leave the one corner out and put it all in and then when you're done simply put that like that and it's not all ballooned up like i said we use target brand i actually want to do less plastic that is my goal or more recycled plastic so i'm going to try grove next it says on every bag that it comes with 100 percent recycled plastic but anyway it's 5.95 for roll 20 reasonable plus they have free gifts with your first order so it makes reducing plastic a lot easier now i know a lot of people say to keep extra bags in the bottom of your trash can my husband hates that method we have this we just got a new kitchen and it comes with this i don't know if this is supposed to be for compost or recycling we used to have a full one that went all the way down i wonder if there's one that will fit in this space but in the meantime, that's where we keep our extra bags. Okay, that's the hack. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it life-changing or not? Are you gonna change the way that you put the trash can liner in or are you gonna keep doing it the shake method? Let me know in the comments. And if your outdoor trash can is dirty, we have another video that will show you how to clean that and make it smell and look so much better. I'll put a link to that video up in the card and I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching.